guys, hope you guys have had a lovely week. Um, today I've got with me Minister Tuluwanimi here with me. Yay. Hi, hi. Thank you so much. For, Thank you, you know, for having me. I'm honestly, it's such an honor to have you and to be sat right next to you oh. as well. Like, you know when it's like you listen to someone's song and then they sit next to them. It only happens in movies, but I'm, it's oh, a privilege. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank How you. are you feeling Thank today? You. I'm, I'm honored to be here. Thank you for having me. Such a pleasure, actually. Yeah. Really lovely. Thank you. And thank you for honoring our invite. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, so we're just going to just talk a little bit um, about your ministry and yeah. about yourself as well. First of all, I just want to, you know, I'll give you like the opportunity to introduce, you introduce yourself. So who is Minister Tuluwanimi? Oh, my gosh, that question. I got asked that a lot of times. Um, so Tuluwanimi, singer, songwriter, worship leader. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I have four kids. Uh, my background is biomedical science and I love Jesus. So I'm a Jesus girl. I'm a Jesus lover. That's who I am. <laughs> I love to see it. I actually yeah. didn't know you had um, a degree in biomedical oh, science. Oh, that's that's yes, really interesting. Yes. And I think, you know, it's so interesting how um, many people don't really know about ministers at your life and yeah, just start talking other about aspects it. of yeah. your life aside yeah. the music because that's what people really see yeah Absolutely. so my background is in biomedical science i have a master's in molecular pathology and genomics so i'm really wow. really really wow, like wow. into the sciences wow yeah everything brains god i know i know i know so yeah so how did how did it all start Oh my gosh, yeah. So I think um, it's exciting to be speaking to you, mm. um, Limitless, because I actually got born again when I was 15. Yeah. I've been singing since I was nine. So it started way back, a long, long, long time ago. Um, but the exciting thing is full-time ministry really started in 2013, about 10 years ago. And it's been from one level of just enjoying God's presence and knowing Him to another. So yeah, it's been super, super, super amazing. That's so interesting you've said that because I also started... I'm saying when I was nine. Oh my god! Because yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I moved from Nigeria to Spain um, to meet my mom, and I, there was just like a, there was just an urge to join the choir. Like I didn't oh, even wow. know why. Oh, oh, wow. um, and you know, back then in church there was two choir. There was a youth choir and there was a main choir that always sang in church every single Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be part of that main one, and my yeah. mom was part of it. Oh, my there was gosh. just a burning passion that I just couldn't understand. Yeah. Um, and I remember sometimes they would call me from children's church to church. come and minister, oh, <laughs> and that literally felt like. A privilege, but I think back then I still didn't know what I was what doing. What you were doing, yeah. Because yeah. just thinking about it, I mean, I was singing from age nine in the children's choir, and then we moved on to the teenage choir. But the exciting thing about it was doing it with a group of people that were yeah. passionate and that really, really, really loved Jesus. Absolutely. And so we just kept on going, and then into youth church, and then voila. <laughs> voila, we're here. Yeah. No, we're blessed, God. We're blessed, God. Yeah. So now, what are some of the achievements um, you've made so far that you're like this? like oh oh yeah. my gosh okay I'm, so I'm sure there's many that's one thing I get a little bit uncomfortable with because okay. sometimes um with being a child of God you don't really know how to blow your trumpet or Absolutely. really know how to put your achievements out there before people um but some of the things that I just lo I, I um I would say I'm proud of is um I have two studio albums out there I have an EP out there. And the testimonies that have come in from the songs is, is truly, truly, truly humbling. I think that's one of the things that keeps us going. Because when you just hear people tell you what, you know, like a song that you probably got in your in your bedroom or in your toilet, and they're telling you um, the impact it has had on their lives, mm. or they're telling you what it did for them through a season of their life is truly, truly humbling and amazing. Aside that, I can tell you about their words. I can tell you about, I mean, they're, they're literally a lot of things. Um, um, 2020, uh, Mercy, one of my songs, um, got an award from the U.S., um, second runner-up, the video and there's just been so many other things that have come yeah. with just you know living this life for Jesus. Yeah. And I think one of the reasons I, I actually put this question forward um, was just to grab a sense of influence mm. you know um, I'm, I think we're around the bubble even a limitless like one of the things we're focusing on this year it's yeah. being inf influential across yeah. all industries yeah. and we're focusing on entertainment Yo. and you know and I think the one misconception is that worship 
there's no like a platform for awards or anything. Mm. Because obviously you see people go to like get awards for uh, there's like the British awards or something. There are all these awards out there, mm. but people don't really know that you know there's also a Christian side because yeah. it is not. You yeah, know, it's not out there. It's not out it's there. It's not out there. It's not as popular. Absolutely. But definitely, um, we do get awards as Christian yeah. and gospel artists. Yeah. yeah, and it's quite uh, humbling as well. So how do, have you felt, and have you ever felt like in a position of influence, or what is like your position of influence? What are some of the things that you do, you know, intentionally, you know, for God? Mm, okay, um, so position of influence. Okay, some of the things that I think um, I've been very intentional and deliberate about is um, some kind of social impact work. Um, I've been more based in Nigeria, and we've literally had to do that. So where I shot my um, one of my songs, Mercy, we did it on the Jabi Lake, and we realized that that community was actually um, um, affected. The water in that community was actually affected. So I had to get a team together, and we actually went out to do some social impact work, which is to educate the people in the community, how to keep the environment cleaner. Yeah. We had to clean the lake, because mm -hmm. the lake was, I mean, totally um, messed up with debris and debts and all of that. And it was, it, was, it was a community that we had benefited from because we went there and shot the music video, but we wanted to give back to them. So, I mean, we've had to be intentional. Yeah. I partner with an NGO and we do certain charity and community work. So we've had to be intentional with those kinds of things. And it's truly, truly, I mean, amazing when you meet little children that probably have listened to the, your music and all of that and they're telling you how you've impacted them yeah. and all of that. So yeah, those are little ways that we've been influential in yeah. just the social um, sphere of things. Yeah. Would you say your ministry gave you a platform of influence? Um, you know, that was like one of the things and, you know, it's important. Definitely, I would say that my ministry has given me a platform of influence because um, I think the more people um, hear you sing the word, yeah. the more people, um, you know, just believe in your ministry, they can listen to you for other things. Mm -hmm. So definitely Absolutely. ministry has given me a platform for influence in the lives of women, mm -hmm. in the lives of mothers, yeah. in the lives of wives. Yeah, so I would definitely say that. Yeah, that's that's so amazing. Um, and it's it's so good that, you know, you were able to do that and also able to share it um, here today because, you know, ministry is one thing, but it can flow into other areas like you've just mentioned, impacting women's lives and um, all these other things and that community work you did as well. But and, you know, to be to get to that place of influence there needs to be an altar and blood has to be in that I altar. I know, I know, yeah. definitely. And, and, <laughs> and I think one topic to that I'm passionate passionate about, not by choice, um, just by, I guess, God's plan yeah. is the, um, the season of wait. Mm. The season of waiting mm. on God. Mm. So how how did your season look like? What were some of the things you did mm. you know, to identify it, to mm. overcome it, mm. and all that? Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's um, that's a, a powerful, powerful topic. I think somehow we're all going through a season, yeah. and that that season is still is still constant. So when you say it, almost looks like you've passed through the season. Mm. No, I wouldn't say I've passed through the season. So in several areas, I may have gone through and come out of that season of waiting, mm. but then there's still areas where I'm still waiting mm. on God. But I thank God for that season because it's the season where you really, really birth ministry. Mm. It's the season where you really, really find out what God has called you to do, who God has called you to be. It's in that season where you really begin to hear his voice and begin to listen and follow. So, you know, the Bible says that they that wait upon the Lord, they will mount up. So there's strength that comes from waiting. So I thank God for that season. Um, it's, it's built me. It's made me um, a, a better minister. It's put the focus right before me. So I'm focused on the right thing. So it's a season where I encourage everyone, no matter that season that you are in in your life, if you're in a season where the promise has not yet come, I encourage you to hold on to God because he's building and he's, he's, he's uh, you know, the song that says it's in the pressing and it's in the crushing. Yeah. So he's building and bringing out something refined and something, you know, that is really great from your life. I look around and we're all just starting out doing the work to God. Um, and, you know, we need to wait. And I think for me, for a, a season of my life, mm. I just, 
I, I just had to wait and like it's, it's not like I'm waiting for something in particular yeah. but I'm waiting for something yeah, in particular God hasn't told me what it is He's, exactly yeah, exactly yeah. but you know I just had to win. At one point, I was just like, God, what am I even waiting for? I know. And, you know, in my emotions, you know, God it doesn't move by emotions. No, he didn't tell me. Not. But he's but I, what I learned was faith. Yeah. And, you know, God, whether it doesn't look like it, yeah. so long as I'm in Christ, yeah. he's still working yeah. on it. And I think yeah. that's one of the hardest yeah. lessons yeah. I've had to learn because I remember crying one time. Oh, my God. Uh, and I was just like, God, what do I you want, want from, from me? me? I know. Like, just tell me and I will get on it right yeah. now. So I think it's a lot more difficult yeah. to wait on something you don't know You don't about. even know what it is. Yeah. yeah. So how would you advise, you know, um, making the most in this season? What some of the things that we can be doing now? Mm. Um Hmm. Wow. Ah, amazing. I'm already blessed by what you just said. <laughs> so um, I think the thing about it is let's not be in a hurry to get to the promise. Mm. Let's enjoy the journey, right? Enjoy the walk. Enjoy the work with God, right? And you get to the place and you realize that, oh my gosh, these are the things God told me about. Yeah. But because I wasn't so consumed by it and so focused with it, kind of, so you enjoyed the process. Mm. Because it's in the process that you find all the testimonies and all the things that God is doing with your life. So in this season, I'll just say, keep building yourself. Keep, you know, just um, spending time with God. Have a genuine love for God. Yeah. Have a genuine love to know God, right? And then just work with Him. In the last few minutes, what is some of what is something you wish you knew when you were our age mm. that you know now? Something you wish you knew before? Mm. Um, okay, something I wish I knew before. So I'm a very quiet person. Um, but um, as I've grown older, I've understood the power of relationships. Mm. So that's one thing that if I was to tell my younger self, I would definitely, despite my um, introvert nature, I would definitely want to be very intentional about building relationships, about um, impacting people, even at a younger age. So, yeah, that's definitely something I would want to do. And we've reached the end. This was, it went by so, so, so quickly. quickly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it went by so quickly. Like, even I didn't even get through all of my oh, yeah. questions. Oh, my gosh. But just one final thing. What is, uh, can you give us like an advice to the youth? Um, oh, my yeah. gosh. It's exciting to speak to the youth because I really, really started off as a youth. Um, I would say, um, don't see yourself um, as just that young person mm -hmm. because God is even able to use the younger people, right? Um, he used Samuel, he used Gideon. So um, whatever you have in your hand, that talent, mm. that gift, I want you to place it before God and see how he's able to use it and make your life and make everything concerning you such a phenomenal thing. So yeah, okay. that's what I was Thank saying. you so much. That was that was powerful. Yeah. What is in your hands, guys? Yeah. Use it for God. Yeah, that, use one, it. that one hit me. Use it did it. hit me. Use and it. just before we go, I just want to put you guys on two songs from our lovely Tulu and Amy ah. that I have literally I've had it on repeat. I'm pretty sure if I was to get my Spotify raps, it would be this. So it is the first one is My God. Oh, that's oh my gosh. 